Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be showing you people how to open a working PayPal account in Nigeria. Now, if you're in Nigeria, you will know that Nigerians face so many limitations when it comes to using PayPal. You're only able to send out money, but you're not able to receive money with your PayPal in Nigeria. Now, in this video, I'm going to take you through a proper guide on how to bypass that while opening your PayPal account. All right. So before we go into it, please, if you're new to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that when next I post other videos, you will be notified. And if this video along the line turns out to be educative and informative to you, please do well to give us our thumbs up and share this video for other people to gain this knowledge. And of course, I would love to hear your opinions in the comment sections. What do you think about the video? And if you have other things you'd like me to talk about, please do well to state it there. And I will always come to you. All right, let's dive into it. So first things first, um, you go to your browser and you type PayPal, paypal.com. Now, let me show you. You can see from this interface, you just have only personal showing. And if you look here, you're going to see paypal.com slash ng. Now, this is because you are doing this from Nigeria, right? Now, there are two ways you can actually get go around this. One way is um, you can just scroll down. You scroll all the way down. You're, you're going to see a Nigerian flag. You see this Nigerian flag down here. You can click on it. So you get to see other countries. Okay. When you click on it, now you see Africa, you see America, you see Asia Pacific. Now you look for um, United Arab Emirates. Now you click on it. Now watch what happens. Now once you click on that, you see it changes to paypal.com slash AE slash home. Now you see personal, you see business, you see partners and developers. Now this has more options. Now another way you can to do this, or instead of going through that process, you can just type um, PayPal dot com slash AE. Oops, slash AE, and you know it takes you there straight up. Now this has more options. The difference between the normal PayPal, the normal PayPal NG is that you can only send money. You can't receive money. You see, see from here, you can only see personal and you can only send payments. There's no receive payment here. But for this other one, you have personal, you have business where you can send payments. You can get paid as well. So this is what we're going to be using now. So you just go ahead and click on sign up. So there are two ways to get to this page. You see that you just type paypal.com slash AE or you go all the way that way you see the flag and you go to um, Asia Pacific and click on Arab Emirates and it gets you to the same place. So we'll go ahead to click on sign up. Okay, so once you click on sign up, you see there's so many um, options here, but you're going to click on business accounts. So you'll be able to accept payments and other stuff. Okay, so let's go. We continue. We continue. So here you're going to repeat your first name, your last name, your email address. And um, you're going to choose a password. So I'm going to go ahead to impute all these things. And at the end of the day, see your password needs to be between 8 to 20 characters. Use uppercase and lowercase. Enter at least one number and one symbol. Okay. So that's just for you to have a strong password. That's all they are trying to tell you there. So this, um, after this, you now click on the agreement and you go ahead to create your account. Is that simple so i'm going to go ahead um someone actually contacted me and said i should help him open a paypal account so i'm just using this to teach everybody so i don't get to open accounts for everybody so i can actually leave a link for you to use and open your paypal account in the description but don't forget to always 
um, change that location because once you're dealing from Nigeria, you're limited to only sending out money. And I'm going to show you, guide you through the process and make sure you pay attention because every information I'm going to get leads out, let out here, it's vital. You don't need to miss a particular step at all. All right, let's continue. So let me go ahead and fill this client's information. I'm going to censor it because of privacy. So when you're done filling it, you click on the agreement and uh, so they will say activate your account to start using PayPal. We'll guide you every step all the way. Enter info about your business or organization. We need the basic like its name, its name, contact info, tax ID number, blah, 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 blah. So let's go. And um, so we move further to let's go. And um, okay, so they get to tell you, fill in the, on the basics of the person, you know, that's your name, your name, that's what reflects here. Then um, you have, um, we securely store the information you share now, which is which best describes you, individual seller or business sole pr proprietor? So you go to individual sole pr proprietor. Okay, business type. You click on sole proprietor, and um, you're gonna add your date of birth. We're gonna impute it. So let me quickly do that here, and um, you're gonna have. They're going to ask you. Your, what's your nationality here? You're going to put Nigeria because you're in Nigeria, you know, for Arab Emirates. So this works for other countries and other people that, you know, PayPal is restricted in your location. You can actually use this process, but then make sure it's your country you're filling. Okay. So you can put Nigeria. Now for the country, your phone number, you're going to change the code to Nigerian on phone code which is uh 234 just scroll all the way to ngn nigeria yeah so you input your phone number of course you're going to remove the first digit that's the first zero so most numbers in nigeria are 080 or 090 or 070 so you take off the first zero and impute the phone number i'm going to put in all that now yes here is the main sensitive area now you have your address um so what i would advise you do here you can actually use your address or your street's name and everything you know you're living in ikoi number this is the ikoi street or whatever you can just put that in here like you know can write a norma let's say 29 and normal streets Ooh. so your city lagos let's say lagos now for here where you have emirates you're going to impute abu dhabi okay so let me quickly go ahead and fill this area and um then i'm gonna click on next you understand so let me fill it, fill that up then i'll be right back the phone number and um, date of birth of my clients all right all right with all that filled out we just click on next all right so when you once you click next you they will ask you to tell us about your business and um we securely store the info you share, blah, 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 plenty talk, you know. So what is your business name? Your business name. So it's best you use your full legal name. So for this case, I'm going to use uh, the client's full name. Okay. What's your business registration number? Now, if you have a business registration number, you impute it. Or you can just get one from someone and impute it. Now, which um, was the primary currency you for your business? Okay, US dollars, of course. Then, what do you 
sell or what services do you offer? So you just um, look for something. You can, you know, there are keywords. You can just say sales or, you know, so once you click on sales or marketing, you know, you can write marketing. So you can write markets and you see marketplace, you know, direct marketing, just pick one, you know. So if you're a computer scientist or something, of course, you're going to see it out there. So now, do you have a business website? This one is not necessary. You say no, but if you have, of course, you repeat it there. Um, what next? What's the business's address? Now the business address is same as we can put if it's this if it's different from the address that you used uh, of your personal address, then you impute another business address. But don't forget to include this app that here. Uh -huh. But write the address. But then if it's the same thing, just go ahead and click on use your residential address. Once you click it, the address is going to appear here. Okay. So once it appears, I'm not going to click it so that y'all only see this person for privacy purposes but once i click this you're going to see the person's the address going to reflect here so before i click next i'm going to go ahead and fill up all that information so the next page you'll be seeing is when after i must have clicked on next okay so once you click on next this is what you get and they will ask you complete the customer identification process to avoid paypal account service interruption so Place of incorporation, you still can select your location. Nigeria. So once you click on that, you submit. Once you submit that and um, here you are. So you see you have your PayPal account fully set up. Congrats, you're all set. Go to home page. So once you click on that, let's see what happens. You see, you have your fully active PayPal account. You see, hi, glad you've joined. Now you see, you have pay and get paid. So you can pay and get paid. Now you've um, your profile is verified. The next thing you need to do is confirm your email address. Okay, so. Once you go there, you click on that, you go to your email address and confirm it. That one is simple. Then you have your login details. Now, this is another part. The main part is this linking your um, bank and card. Okay. So I would suggest since you're in Nigeria, you link a card, look for a prepaid card. You go to, um, I'll suggest, um, I'll recommend UBA, go to UBA and request for a prepaid dollar card. And once you get that, make sure you load at least $10 inside it. Although you're not going to spend all that. Some part of it will go into the PayPal account and they'll reverse it back to your card. Do you understand? But then it's just a way to test that the card is working. But you're going to be charged about $1.50 thereabouts. So, so after that, so you just click on, you click on link a card. Let me show you how, what the interface looks like. So you put your card details, um, you put your card number and um, you put the card type, MasterCard, Officer card, whichever, then the card expiry dates and um, you put the, you know, the secret code behind your card. And once you do that, you click on link card and it's, you're all set up. So once you're done with that, you can easily, you know, receive money on your PayPal accounts and transfer it to your card. And you can use that card to make payments too. When you want to buy things online, you know, on AliExpress and all that online sites as well. So you can also withdraw the money if you want to. All right. So that's about it on this. So if this video was helpful in any way, please do well to hit the like button and uh, share this video to other people for them to gain this knowledge. And also I would advise you if it's your first time here, please do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I will post videos like this, you'll be notified. 
all right i would also want to hear your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think about this video was it helpful or if you have questions and um, please do well to send them in in the comment section and i will to come through for you thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day